Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can connect up to some data online and then create a lookup to show an individual element of that data. So the example I've got on the screen is the Premier League table and then you've got a VLOOKUP that is just looking at the teams and then showing you the stats from that, that table on the left there. So step one is to get onto the web page that you want to select the data from. So if I create a new spread, a new spreadsheet, just do control N and then go onto the web. So this is the, um, the table I, I want to get the Premier League table. So if I go to Premier League, so it's just showing you that table there and that is the web address that I want. So I'm going to copy that and just keep that for a second coming back into Excel and then I go to the data tab and then get data from web I want it so it's there actually it will ask you for that URL you paste it in there and you click OK and then it will try and make a connection and it does make the connection so you can click on that that's the table itself that's the fixtures um, I just want this one you can look at it on the web if you want so obviously this this image thing is not going to come through I don't think but let's just load this one up and then it drops it in there and it's called the table's called league table premier now what I want to do is just sort this out a little bit. So I'm going to go into the data tab and the query editor. So I don't really want that first column. So I'm going to remove that first column and this column needs to go first. So I want the, the teams first. Then that is the position uh, of the column. And if I can rename this column actually. So this is going to be team and this is going to be position. And then that's all I really need to do on that. And your, your steps are always listed there. So if you make a mistake, you can just delete them. But I'm just, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to close and load. That puts it onto a separate sheet. I'll just call it prem and what I need to do is, this is called Premier League table. It's a bit wordy that, so I'm just going to call it Prem. Oops, before I do that, I better not do that. I need to highlight the thing. Let's try naming it in there. Prem. Yeah, it's picked it up there, it's okay. So if I highlight the table, it should be called Prem. Um, yeah. Now to do the VLOOKUP, I need to copy first off the titles. So I'm just going to drag those over here with my control key down. And then underneath that, let's just make this one yellow. I need to do a data validation list. Let's get rid of this. A data, a data validation list that will select these. So back to data. Data validation, change that option to list, select the list, the teams. So this is a live link, by the way. So this will update after today's games. You just need to keep refreshing the data. So I can select a team and then it should tell me when I do the VLOOKUP what the position is. So the VLOOKUP, I'm going to call this space team. So the VLOOKUP is going to be equals V lookup team team. The table's called prem and the columns, I want all the columns. So there's 10 columns, one, two, three, four, yeah, 10 columns. So if I use this squiggly bracket, I can do an array little feature here. It's quite cool. 
So I'm going across, so I need to put a comma between these. If I was going down, I would need to put a semicolon. And then close the squiggly bracket. Then do a comma, and then zero for exact match. So that should just fill that straight across. Like so. Now if I change the team, the stats come across. And obviously you can have this on a different sheet. And this sort of... Um, Selecting data from the web, if it's in a table format like that, simple to do. Um, sometimes you have to manipulate it a bit or clean it up like I did in Power Query Editor. Um, it's up to you. But that is basically all I want to show you, how to get data from the web and then how to create a lookup to pull individual items from that data. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next one.